Hello everyone, BDVSSB here today. I want to show you a cool little thing I found with the console commands. Um, hopefully you already know how to do this. I'm going to show you real quick what this is about, a quick rundown. There's There should be plenty of information out there what this is, but simply put, if you have everything enabled, I'm going to show you how to enable it. You should be able to hit the back tick button, which basically looks like a slanted little um, apostrophe it's the key just above the tab to the left of the one just below the escape button so up there in the corner if you hit that in it basically brings up your log I believe you can hit page down page up yep to cycle through the log if you hit it one more time though it lets you actually do prompts or commands um, if you hit it again it gets rid of it so to be able to do this command what we need to do um, in fact since this is up I want to show you this quick first um, if you have steam um, I went to my library, right click, properties, and for launch options on Farming Simulator 25, I put in dash cheats. Some commands in the past, other versions of the games, wouldn't let you add money and stuff like that if you didn't have this in. So I suggest you add that in. The other file you need to look at as an actual file is if you go to your My Games Farming Simulator 2025, open up the game XML. Down here in development, there's open dev console. Oops, sorry, controls. Um, this will be false by default. Type in true, hit save. I suggest doing this with the game not open. Don't know what it'll matter, but I suggest doing that. It may not take effect until you actually open the game back up as well. So switch that to true, hit save. I'm gonna go ahead and close that out, in fact. Um, so yeah, that, that tells you how to enable it. So like I said, now that you bring it up, um, you can start typing information in there. So the first one I'm going to show you quick, if we jump in this truck, some things aren't available if you're not in the vehicle to actually do vehicle commands. And that would make sense because it needs to know what to do. So a couple of things quick, like if we come up here, hit this again, and we type in fill. So say we want to add wheat to this um, vehicle. So right now, whatever's lit, highlighted first, you hit the enter now if you hit down and up it lets you go to other functions in fact we get out of here um, a lot of times let's get out you can start hitting the up button and it's basically stuff i've done in the past up and down is like a just a memory of what you've done um but we're going to simply type in fill unit so we want fill unit add when i hit the enter button it's going to auto fill fill unit add i'm going to do two well i'll show you what one is if i hit one and i type in diesel and I hit a negative, say, 50, for example. If you look down there, I don't have availability to bring my mouse up, um, but you can see the fuel went down a little bit. In fact, I hit up to repeat the command, hit enter, you can see it go down a little bit more. And if we just want to get rid of it all, we could simply put 500 in there. Or if you want to add 10 gallon or liters, or whatever you're set up to, um, you can do so, or if you leave that blank, it's going to fill it all the way up. So, same example. If I come over here, I hit two, and let's just do wheat and hit enter. It's just going to fill it all the way up. And as you can see over there, it's 7,600 liters. So, same thing if I want to get rid of some. So, minus 2,500, hit enter. It just takes the 2,500 away. Or again, if you want to get rid of all of it, you can just put a zero in there. It's just going to delete everything. Another cool little thing is you can come in here and. Uh, I know one thing, I just I tried messing around doing some testing and it did not like it when I uh, tried to add wetness to this vehicle. So I don't know if it's not set up or if I did it wrong, but say dirt. If you want to add vehicle dirt, hit the enter button. Now, just hitting enter doesn't do anything, when I, but as you can see, it just said added dirt to vehicles amount zero. So if we type in 0.25, enter, hard to see. As you can see, but if we do it again, or just say, hey, I'm going to type in one, enter, it's completely dirty now. In fact, I don't think it'll get any dirtier than that. So same thing, if you hit up, negative one, oops, it's clean again. So just some things you can mess with. There's, I tried wetness and yeah, I did not like it. It got all crazy on me and I could try it just to see. It's adding for an amount, 0.5. Well, there it did. I must have put too high of a number. You can just see it on the mirror there. So if we do it one more time, looks like that's as much as it's going to do. So, yeah, just kind of shows a little bit of water droplets on there. So same thing, minus one, bam, 
wetness goes away. So that's just something you can do on the vehicles. There's several other things. There's reload, there's uh, reset. Uh, something else I want to show is if we run over into this field, um, you can see we're on farmland 85. So if I come up here and I type in field, this is what's really cool. I found this on accident. If we go down to um, set field state and I hit enter and I type in 85 and I hit enter, it brings up this GUI uh, setup, which I did not know was here. Very cool. So the bad thing is if you get rid of, okay, yeah, say so if you get rid of the command, it's easier to see. If you hit the escape, it escapes out, obviously. But same thing, I hit it, the uh, back tick, up, enter. It's going to bring up the commands for field ID 85. And I think you can probably, I haven't messed with, you can use all, it says. So, yeah, here you can basically cycle through the different crops. So say you want to go to sugar beet. Here's your different growth states. Invisible, I'm not really sure what that means. This is the minute the comb's been cut. Harvested, dead, harvest ready. You can set your weed um, as far as invisible, big dead, stones. You can put uh, picked, big. Uh, you've got ground type and everything else. So now if we just hit apply, bam, as you can see, there's weeds out there and everything else. So. Yeah, I thought this was kind of cool. Like I said, feel free to mess with it. There are some other things. It seems like there was a command. Yeah, script command list. Because what I did is I actually cheated. And once I hit this, hit enter. If you open up your log file. Let's see if we can find that quick. I have a shortcut to it. Control end. As you can see, it lists all the commands. But you don't really need this because now it has the autofill and you can come over here and actually tells you what things do so hopefully this was helpful not extremely long like usual but uh good luck please help each other out and we will catch you next time thanks a lot